In this video, we're going to look at parts of a circle. So we're going to look at the different parts of the circle and the names for them. So here we've got the radius. The radius is a line which goes from the center of the circle to any point on the circle itself. So as you can see here, this would be the radius, this red line. It's half the way across a circle. The diameter. The diameter is the line that goes from one side of a circle to another side and passes through the center here. Okay, so the diameter is a line which goes from one side of a circle to another side and passes through the center. It's the whole way across the circle. The circle's got a fancy name for its perimeter and it's called the circumference. So the circumference is the distance around the outside of the circle and it's just another name for the circle's perimeter, the distance around the outside. A chord. A chord is a line which joins one side of a circle to another side, or to any two parts of the or any two points on the circle, but it doesn't pass through the center. If it passed through the center, then it'd be the diameter. So a chord is a line which joins any two points of the circle uh, with a straight line. So this red line is a chord. An arc, an arc is part of the circumference, so this is part of the circumference. If it's smaller than halfway around, then it would be a minor arc. And then the larger sections of this part would be the major arc. Normally in a maths exam, you just ask for what this is called, and it's called an arc, part of the circumference. A tangent. A tangent is a line, a straight line, which touches the circle once and carries on. So it's a straight line which just touches the circle and carries on like so. And that's called a tangent. A segment. This green region is called a segment. And it's the region which is bound by a chord and an arc, like so. So this is a segment, this green section here. And finally, a sector. A sector, or as I like to call it, a pizza slice, is bound by two radii, well this radius and this radius, so two of them, the plural of radius is radii, so two radii and an arc. So this uh, region, this green region, is called a sector. And that's it, so these are the parts of the circle which you're gonna to need to know for your exams. You've got the radius, halfway across the circle, the diameter, the whole way through the center, the circumference, the distance around the outside of the circle, another name for its perimeter, a chord, a line which joins to any two points on the circumference, uh, which doesn't pass through the center, so this straight line is called a chord, an arc, part of the circumference, a tangent, a line which just touches the circle and carries on, a segment, a region which is bound by an arc, an arc, and a chord, like so, and a sector, which is from the center, you've got your two radii, and you've got an arc, like so, and that region is called a sector. And that's it.